Hi, I'm Don, and this is The Hobbyist Geek. And today we are continuing our Ecto build. We have stage 64 here. We have uh, our magazine. Uh, these look like rails of some sort, some sort of trim detail, or maybe uh, maybe the rails for the gurney in the back. Uh, but let's uh, crack it open, see what we've got. And here are the parts that we get with this issue. We've got the Telefunken SB329 AR control boxes. Uh, this is just labeled as control box. And four of these Ferno Washington Model 22 gurney floor rails. And all four of them uh, look to be identical. You can see there's a bit of a lip on one side. Uh, so I'm assuming that we're going to have to whoop, put them in opposite like this, but uh, let's uh, wait till we get the instructions and we'll see. Okay, we're going to start things off by attaching the control boxes. And first we're going to go with this Telefunken one that's got all of the different detailing on here. You can see there are two posts on the back. That is actually towards the bottom of the control box. And if you look at the interior of the vehicle, very closely you can see two posts or two screw holes right there. So that is where this will line up. And we attach it with two AP screws coming in from the other side. All right, there you go, all installed. I'm not particularly sure I like it. There seems to be too much of a seam there and it's hollow back here. Uh, I'm hoping that we're gonna be getting something to cover that up. I assume we will. But uh, that is what it is for now, anyway. Moving on, we've got the other control box here. And you can see there are two posts on the bottom. And down here, there are two post holes. So we just slide that in. And we screw it in with two AP screws from the bottom. Okay, and there it is, installed. And... Well, I mean, honestly, it looking kind of plain, but uh, well, it is in there and it's an extra little piece of detail and that completes that step. All right, uh, and now we're going to attach these gurney rails and they're gonna go right in here along the floor. You can see there are, uh, well, it's really hard to see on this camera, I guess, so let's bring it on up. You can see there are some uh, screw holes, two sets here. Uh, and two sets here, going all the way down, uh, five holes in each set. And surprise, surprise, there are five holes in the gurney rail. And as I expected, you're gonna want to orient them so that they create a kind of a channel here so that the lips are on the outer edge of each pair so that you have uh, little channels for the wheels. We're gonna use five OP screws per rail to hold it in place. Alrighty, look at those rails. That gurney should go in nice and smooth now. Okay, for this next part, we're finally going to attach the dashboard here that we assembled way back when. Uh, if you take a look at the back, there are four little holes. Uh, you gotta make sure the cabling's out of the way, but there are four little holes here. And those are going to match up with these four holes here. And we're gonna be using IP screws to hold it in place. All right, and with those four screws in, we're gonna flip her over here. And you can see there are four more screw holes, on uh, two on either side. And we're gonna put in IP screws in those four holes as well. Okay, and with those screws in place, we have the dash finally attached to the rest of the interior. And that completes stage 64. Oh. Okay, stage 64 is complete, and what an issue that was. Uh, more detail here in the back. We've got these control boxes going on, and we have finally attached the dashboard 
to the interior of the vehicle. Things are definitely looking up here. I can't wait to see what's next. If you like the video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.